Hello there, and hi, Helga. She's arrived in all her glory, and I wanted to show you my period routine, including my favorite products, my least favorite, and some hacks I've learned like making an improv period pad. If you stick to the end, I'll also share with you my period drawer. That's right, homegirl takes her cycle very seriously. I was really surprised. A lot of you wanted to see what my routine looked like, and I was like, okay, I'm here for it, all right. I love talking periods. I love destigmatizing periods. I love just talking about periods because we bleed, all right, and we do life bleeding, and that's all right. And and so um, I was actually really surprised. I asked you guys on community, what is your most used period product? And a ton of you said pads. I don't know why I thought it would be something else, but it was really cool to read. And I'd love to just kind of continue this period talk. So today I'm gonna show you my period review. So I shot some clips on my very first day of being on Helga and let's rewind to that. And then I'll see you very, holy. This is another thing that happens on my period. I get a little clumsy. It seems too big. Helga is officially here. I am in pain. I'm feeling weak. Jupiter is getting inside my shot and I don't no. recommend laying on cold floor. It will only increase your cramps. Oh, why am I wearing a mask? Cause Dennis has COVID. Oh my God. Yeah, it do be like that. This is the life. That's love. Helga. We are rocking the no bra because I do believe you should be comfortable. And if you have the means, relax, relax on your period. That's what I'm gonna try to do this year a little bit more. Just got back and bought a bunch of stuff. Now here are some products that I highly recommend whenever you're on your period. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. I bought them all. This stuff helps me just relieve my cramps. It is the best thing. I wish they would sponsor me. They're pretty much just heat wraps. So you just place it on your tummy and you're nice and warm all day. I also recommend just staying kind of cool. So being in the little fresh, silky PJ sort of thing, be comfortable, have some nice warm slippers so your feet aren't touching the cold floor and have this on and you're just gonna feel lovely. <laughs> heard a lot about this, raspberry tea. I haven't personally tried it myself, but I'm interested. I've heard it helps with cramps, so we shall see sourdough and some cheese. Never tried this cheese before, I hope I like it. I'm gonna make myself a nice warm mm -hmm. grilled cheese. Can't forget the cookies, everybody needs a little bit of chocolate. And then I bought some golden flax cereal because I've heard that fiber is also kind of good. Actually, I don't know, don't don't quote me on that because you take a lot of period shits on your period, you know? Bought this for the siblings, for the future. Just prepare. <laughs> This is the position that usually helps me. I don't know if this is like a fetal position or... And then Jupiter always comes to like the rescue, I guess. Ow, I'm in pain. Ow, 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 ow. I'm the one with the ovaries. I'm the one... Shut up, Natalie. I feel you. You do not understand my pain. Fuck my life. While I wait for my tea to brew, I am going to write Dennis a little cute card because I'm the best wife. And I miss him. I've literally been sleeping in the garage for the past five nights. I miss you. Wanna kiss you. Take out with me now. Yeah. <laughs> Something super random I like to do on my period is I like to take out like snacks or anything that I eventually want to have later. So I'm gonna have some orange juice later, possibly a mango because I do no. not, I cannot no. have anything be cold or I will die. I'm not kidding. Okay. So even Dennis got me this for Christmas because I can't have cold water. I just, it's not a thing, especially on my period. Well, I'm just gonna put this While we wait. Mm, need gluten. I almost died. I was about to put this in here. Don't do this at home, kids. Seriously. This cheese tastes like wax. Jupiter's looking at me like he really wants my food. Please eat yours. No. <laughs> I burn myself. Mmm. The cheese is not bad. I'm so much cramps. Does anyone else feel like they have to throw up when they're on their period? Like I always get this feeling of just <clears throat> I was about to cough, but <clears throat> Usually on my period, Dennis takes care of me, but today I gotta take care of myself. I'm not no. gonna give you any. Comienzo conmigo. So usually around my period, I overthink everything. Per usual, I honestly get so moody. I try not to schedule any kind of work-related things or anything like that. Again, it sounds very privileged, but if I have the ability to not schedule anything that requires me talking to others, I don't because I am sassy on my period and I make mistakes more than often on my period. I just, very hormonal. Anyways, I have myself a glass of water, make sure to stay hydrated, not cold. My tea, it do be like that, it's a lot of things. And I'm just gonna sit down and edit for a bit. Just, you know, have some casual, relaxing time and I have a towel just in case Helga gets a little crazy today. It happens people and I'm not gonna ruin this beautiful chair.
And this should say period number one. Peace. Somebody got ah! food without me. I'm sick. How rude. And I'm on my period. Literally, my ovaries are kicking my ass. Thanks, husband. Whatever. I hate laundry with a passion. It is the worst thing of life, but it's got to be done. So let's do it. Welcome to my beauty space. I still have yet to really give you guys a full home tour renovation. We've been doing a ton. But let's get on to this laundry. Feeling something very sweet, so I'm making myself some pancakes. It's a super easy recipe. Literally three ingredients. How delicious. Oh my gosh. If any of you guys have your period right now, let me know. Comment below, Blood Sisters. And if you'd want to eat this, this looks so good. Oop, buddy, that was a lot. All right, let's see how this tastes. And disclaimer, the only reason we're using plastic plates is because we're both kind of sick and then it has COVID, so. Hey honey, I made you pancake. Hello. Wakey, wakey, you shaky. So here's my period horror story and why I wish I had known about this hack before. So it was seventh grade, it was 2000 and, I don't remember, I'm not gonna age myself. But anyways, I decided to wear my brightest, crispiest, Colombian, you know, those singe you in kind of pants to school. Little did I know, I had recently started my period and so I was very irregular. I still didn't know when my period was going to come and I bled that day. I was walking down the cafeteria. It was so embarrassing. But luckily I had that one friend that came up to me quickly because I was already, you know, the, the mess was there. She came in around me. She pretty much like hugged me from the back and she's like, hey Nat, I just want you to know that you have a little something back there and don't worry about it. We're gonna go to the bathroom right now. And so I had my tray like this, I was like, who saw me? You know, I was freaking out. That was very embarrassing for me. Even though it's something so natural, of course, I didn't want people to see my Helga right on my pants. So <laughs> here's a little hack that I wish I had known earlier. If you have a pair of clean socks, maybe in your locker room, I don't know, maybe just literally from here. Take this, take them off, put them in your undies like you would with a pad. Bam, these are fresh and new. Chibam, okay? It's gonna give you that protection you need until you can get a sanitary product. And then with a paper towel, just kind of wrap it around and you are good to go for a little bit. I mean, depending on how big your socks are. The longer, the better. I would keep a pair of these in my gym locker room. So there's that little hack for you. I wish I had known before my little period horror story. Welcome to my little period sanctuary space. I actually dedicated this little section in my cabinets for my period stuff and I want to share with you. Okay. Here we go. I also keep some pads. Right now, I actually don't have like a preferred type of pad, but it has to be double wing. I'm still trying to figure out which is the best. Let me know down in the comments what you prefer. I actually purchased a bunch. Took myself on a little period shopping spree because why not? And I purchased a bunch of different brands. So I'm very excited to try all of those. I have my ride or die mix it cup. This thing is one of the best like menstrual cups, if you will, but it's just a little bit different. It's very soft. It's very flexible. I've tried the flex before. I did like that, but it was a bit too too harsh the rim. So I really recommend this if you're looking for more eco-friendly options. Really love that. Super great. I have a full video on it if you're interested. Recently, I purchased this calming body oil. I don't know if it actually works, but there's a bunch of really cool little fragrances. It's a little roller ball. It's supposed to offer you like a little bit of heat. So I'll let you know how that goes, but you know, just kind of spoiling myself during my period. Ta -da! I also have these like heatable little rice pack. I just pop it in the microwave, put it on. It's happy. It's smiling at me. All right, over here, we have my other little period section. Honestly, this used to be swimsuits, but now it has just completely overhauled with period stuff. Now, this is what I like to do. I like to include my very like fluffy kind of, you know, PJs or like sweats that I know if I stain, I'm not gonna really like, you know, be worried about. Dennis purchased me some of these. I really love that. And then some nice like just attire to feel good on my period. Over here, we have my collection of period underwear. Period underwear is my number one. I love them. I love them. I love them. I use the ones by Thinks. Really, really love those. 
those. And then recently, I was really surprised that Uniqlo came out with their own period underwear. Dennis got these for me and I was shocked. The padding goes like all the way up to the top, which I was very impressed. So I'm excited to try these. Here's another period gadget that has literally changed my life. I don't know what this is. Call it a booty heater, a tushy heater, whatever. You can put it from the front. I don't want to sound inappropriate, but sometimes I get like those like stingers up my ass. Like it really hurts, those kind of cramps. So this helps so much. Again, I just lay on it. I love it. You can control the heat. It does have a plug, which kind of sucks, but I don't know. This was very inexpensive. I think he got this at like Walgreens or something. Yes, I really love it. I am personally somebody that I prefer not to take like Advil or Midol or anything like that if I don't have to, but sometimes I have to and that's just that, but this thing really helps a lot. Comment below and let me know which is your favorite and go-to period product and why. And also if there was something new on the market and like just people could innovate, what would make a product better? I've been trying to think about that a lot because I feel like period products are something that hasn't been innovated in so many years. Like it's, it's ridiculous. We've always had like the pad, the menstrual cup since like the 1930s okay, so I'd love to know your thoughts so usually on my period I love taking baths it helps with my cramps I was gonna do one today but honestly feeling a little lazy instead I'm just gonna play some Animal Crossing and answer some of your questions about periods that you asked so one of the first questions is what's your most comfortable position while on your period let me show you I have several something like this basically any fetal like position another question I get asked a lot is what made you call your period Helga so Helga um, when I think of Helga I just think of like a really strong woman and I feel like that's my period and so for me Helga is kind of like Matilda's that one evil lady I think about this this is Helga to me this is Miss Trunchbull you guys remember her so I'm on Helga right now and I was wondering what makes you feel less bloated when Helga is here so I actually used to get mistaken and think that I was super hungry and get a ton of cravings while on my period but really it's like the week before so I find that the more I eat on my period the more bloated and nauseous I get so I stick to like a really rich diet on my period. I have lots of oatmeal, lots of soups, warm food, quinoa, really like healthy fats, if you will, avocado, um, maybe a little bit of chicken here and there. If I am like snacking on crackers and you know, really greasy food, I actually feel worse. So avoid that while on your period. Not everybody's the same, but for me, it just doesn't help. So now a question for you. I'm actually really interested to know, are you ever embarrassed to say that you're on your period? I know there's a lot of like shame around period periods, which is really sad when I think it's such a natural part of life. We all bleed. Anyways, it was really fun hanging out with you. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to continue playing Animal Crossing. That's my Chipotle because I was tired. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of content you'd like to see. Subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Sending you lots of love from this side of the screen.